on the morning of August 15th, users of Bamboo Labs 3D printers woke up to find that if they were running a 3D print sometime during the night, it seemed to have completely cut out and tried to print another thing on top of it. And if they didn't have something printing, then they found that a print had started on their printer that they did not choose or put on there. What happened here? Well, these machines are hooked up to an internet service and that internet service decided it was time to start a print. Now, I myself wasn't a victim of this, but a lot of people were, including some high profile members of the community. And the response from the 3D printing community was an overwhelming, eh? which kind of surprises me. And I hope that this is a turning point for the community because it seems to me, and, and don't get me wrong, there were certainly the haters out there who thought this is an opportunity to rub people's nose in the fact that this is what you get. When you hook up your 3D printer to the internet, you lose control of it. But for the most part, the community's response was just, well, oh, that happened. And that is honestly a very mature way to respond to this sort of thing. Honestly, I'm proud of y'all. You guys just took it in stride, and that's very, very cool. Except that this is something that really kind of bugs me. I mean, I'm not, like, going to be upset at Bamboo about it. I just recognize that if you take your whatever and hook it up to the Internet, I'm concerned that one day some malicious third party is going to hijack the stream, figure out a way to take it over, and all of us are going to wake up with a big throbbing veiny marital aid on our build plate that we have to explain to our children or worse permanent damage now that's not what happened in this case though in this case it was business exactly as it was intended bamboo's system itself did the hiccup and to their credit bamboo has investigated what happened figured it out took responsibility for it and said that they're going to do better. They investigated it, they communicated it to us, and they handled this extremely well. So good job, Bamboo, on that. And theoretically, it should not be possible ever for some third party to hijack the stream. Encryption and other security measures, which the community has made sure that Bamboo has in place, will prevent that from ever being a concern. Still, if you are concerned about that and you want to use this 3D printer without hooking it up to the internet, well, good news, you can absolutely do that. All you have to do is go to your Bamboo's menu, turn off the Wi-Fi, and then you're safe. But if you want to start a print, you've got to pull out the micro SD card, which if you've got big fingers like me, it can be hard to do this. Hold on, let me grab a tool, see if I can get the angle on it this way. Hold, I, okay, got it. All right. And if you're anything like me, you're going to have to put it into one of these little adapters here so that you can plug it into a USB port. Okay, good, there we go, we're in. Now, let's jump over to Bamboo Slicer. And here I've got a plate of 3D prints. These are Print-A-Block Wings that are going to go on to a printer block battle mecha. Look at these wings, they are so cool and they're absolutely beautiful. So let's slice these up. But now that you've taken your printer off the Wi-Fi, you can't just hit print plate and have it go. You've got to hit the drop down and choose to export your sliced file. Now, once you export it, save it to your thumb drive, your SD card, and then you'll notice that you have the option to eject it right here so that you can remove it safely. Take it back to your 3D printer, plug it in, and start your print. Now, good news, you still have access to time lapses and all the neat little things that the Bamboo can do, but you do not have access to the app, to being able to monitor your print through even the slicer program. If something goes wrong, you have to access it through the menu, which is a little bit less convenient, but it's the price that you pay for having it be secure. Now that is certainly the most secure way to run your 3D printer, but it's also the least convenient. I really appreciate not having to do the SD card shuffle every time I want to start a 3D print. And fortunately, 
Bamboo 3D printers offer an option that's kind of in between full Wi-Fi and having to run around with an SD card. It's called LAN only mode. To enable it, go to your printer, turn on the Wi-Fi, and turn on LAN only mode. You're going to get a code that you need to connect to it, and you can bet I'm going to change that code just as soon as I'm done with this video. To get that code, you come over to the Bamboo Slicer, you go to the Device tab, you open up the printer, it should find it on your network, you click it, you input the code into there, hit confirm, and after a moment, it should connect to your 3D printer. Once you're connected, it's the same as usual. You can start a print just by going over, loading it up. These are the files for the Battle Mecha Frame, which is a customizable set that you can find out more about in the video that I'll link to in the cards. Let's slice this up and then Instead of just hitting print plate, you could just say send. And what I love about saying send with this is that you can rename the, fi the file here, call it Battle Mecha Frame. And that way it kind of saves the files on your 3D printer so that you can pull them up later. One thing that bugs me about the, the bamboos is that it seems to only remember one file. Well, if you do a send, it will remember more than one. And now you go over to your printer and you start that print whenever you want. And there you go. It's as easy as that. So there you go. If the thought of running these 3D printers through a third party service that you have no control over doesn't sit well with you, well, you don't have to. You can use it in a way that is a lot more secure and disentangles it from that third party service. Now you do lose the ability to use the app on your phone, to have your phone notify you when prints finish, to check the status of your print on your phone. You lose all of that. You can only do it through the app, but you still have the ability to take time lapses. You still have the ability to review those time lapses and you know, using it directly on your LAN, you still have control over those things. So you're not entirely without options. You just lose a few of them. And I think that that speaks well to what the value add is by using their third party service and why a lot of people want to do it. Hey, I get it. And you know, the truth is I am probably going to use that service from time to time, but I'm probably not going to leave it on just sitting around all the time, especially seeing how something like this can happen. And even if it never happens again, I like the added security of LAN only mode, but you know what? You do it whatever way you want, because if those are things that you want, you now understand that you have options and what you're gaining and losing by taking advantage of those options. So there you go, make an informed decision. Well, that's all for this video, and I hope that you'll check out the Battle Mechas Kickstarter, unless you're watching this in the far future after the Kickstarter is done, in which case I hope it went really well, and you guys can still pick up these files on 3dpprofessor.com, but come on, these robots are super cool. So I hope that you'll check those out, and until I see you again, Thank you very much for watching, and remember, you are a child of God, so you're special to me, so take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time.